Hi there, welcome to my meditation channel. Today I have prepared for you a little ritual for the upcoming new moon. So this session is going to be posted for the new moon that we will have in February. But of course, feel free to use this guided meditation for any upcoming new moons throughout the year. So this is a uh, wonderful opportunity for you to connect to nature, to feel more connected to the earth and the elements around you. It's, it's a very nice chance to see how things are changing up in the sky, how the planets and stars are moving. So it's a really good chance to take some time to connect, to, to feel deeply connected with the world around you. And if the word ritual is making you feel a little bit scared or insecure, please don't worry about it. Basically what we are going to do is just some exercises um, that are focused on personal development and uh, inner growth. At the same time linking it with the new lunar cycle and um, using meditation and breathing techniques as uh, an overarching theme. So the new moon represents the start of a new lunar cycle, so it represents a new beginning and it's also the perfect moment to kind of let go of those things or people or relationships or projects that we may be feeling somehow have become maybe a little bit toxic or maybe just unnecessary in our lives right now. So that's why I was saying that um, it's a very good moment for you to align your own goals and your own life cycle with the, the cycles that nature gives us, like for example the lunar cycle. So everything is temporary, everything works in cycles, it has ups and downs and I think it's also a very good uh, chance to kind of just step back for a second and think about this uh, cycle component um, everything must begin and must end and sometimes we just need to th see things through a non-attached lens and um, just try to understand that we may be having ups and downs as it's normal because that's how life works and um, we should welcome this new beginning with um, some new energy and kind of give it a fresh start. And also this new moon brings a very special topic which is darkness. So during the new moon we will face the darkest night maybe from, from this month, from this cycle and this is a wonderful opportunity as well to take this darkness, this silence that uh, nature is handing us to do some inner work here and really take the time to do some self-reflection, to maybe think about goals or intentions that you would like to to begin in this new cycle and also to understand what uh, are the things that you may no longer be needing and that you could just let go. So basically what we are going to do is uh, that we are going to unite and bring together those two sides of the same coin. So the beginning and the end we are going to clarify how we would like to close this uh, past cycle and how we would like to begin the new one. Right, so for this session, because it's a little ritual, you are going to need a few things. So as usual, I'm just going to suggest a couple of things and please feel free to use what uh, makes you feel comfortable and just basically make it your own and use whatever you think is best for you. So a few suggestions here. You could of course think about doing this ritual outdoors uh, during the new moon night and that would be great for you to really embrace the nature around you and to feel this connection with nature. 
but if not just don't worry about too much and um, just stay indoors just find a comfortable and quiet space where you can have this um, nice session where you're not going to be disturbed and just try to make the the place feel cozy you are going to need as well a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil if you feel like writing if you are this person who loves writing goals and to-do lists then this is for you if not you can just do the same exercise um, thinking about it instead of um, writing it but I highly recommend to write things down as it helps you to process that information and then you can also of course use use some uh, tools such as candles, incense or maybe a stick of palo santo or rosemary and to use that to purify the, the air and the area where you will be having this ritual and make the, the place feel nice. It's also a very, very good uh, opportunity for you to do a body scrub or a facial uh, if you are into those as well. So as we are saying, um, we try to get rid of what we no longer need and we try also to welcome the new cycle with fresh energy and that's why just applying some uh, body scrub or a face scrub and um, really also taking the chance to clean up your skin and your body and feel refreshed. So feel free to do this um, little uh, self-care session before the actual ritual. You're welcome now to pause and go to the shower if you want to or you can also do it after the ritual before getting into bed and I'm sure you will sleep very very tight. Right, so we are going to start with the writing process, the journaling process and um, basically what we are going to do now is just to take some time really to explore and think about how we have been feeling lately. Maybe you feel like there have been things or relationships or projects that somehow are not really adding much value to your life right now and maybe they are even creating some stress or worries so take the time and just write them down you can be as detailed as you want and try to really nail down what are those things that are somehow not contributing positively to your life Perfect. So now that we've got that, let's use the incense or um, stick that you may have, maybe also some essential oils if you want to, and let's try to purify the, the air and cleanse the area where we are going to work. Really just make sure that we get rid of those bad energy, those bad vibes that may be around us. So. Take any tools that you like and just go ahead and cleanse your space. Right, so now that the energy is looking good, it's time for us to think of this new beginning and this new cycle. So what we are going to do now is to think about and write down a big goal that we would like to achieve in those next 28 days. So it needs to be something big enough for you to carry out throughout these four weeks and 
you will have this big goal and then you're also going to write down three little steps that may help you to achieve that. So one big thing and then three actionable points that you could use to get towards that goal. Very good. So now that we have really talked about what we want to let go and what we would like to achieve in the next cycle, uh, we are going to start the meditation session and the breathing techniques that are going to help us to get this concentration mode on. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Find a sitting position where you can be crossing your legs on a lotus position or just sit in any kind of com comfortable position for you. And you can also close your eyes and let your hands rest on your knees nicely. And we are going to start here and now this meditation session for the new moon. So we are going to start here with some deep breaths. So just go ahead and inhale through your nose deeply and exhale through your nose once again. Inhale through your nose and big, big exhale through your nose. Once again, inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose very good we are going to start counting now so we will inhale from one to four and exhale from four to one so we inhale through the nose one two three four and exhale through your nose four three two one Inhale again, one, two, three, four, and exhale through the nose, four, three, two, one. One last time, inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale, four, three, two, one very good we are going to focus now on the movement that our body is doing while we inhale and exhale so just try to concentrate on how your belly and chest are raising every time you inhale and how they sink and contract as you exhale Feel this movement, inhaling and becoming bigger, taller and exhale and sinking a little bit more onto the ground. Very good, keep breathing nice and gentle. And now on every inhale we are going to take some energy. So inhale here through your nose and take up some space. Feel the energy running through your body. And exhale here and relax your muscles and your mind. Inhale once again and take some energy. And exhale through the nose and relax your body. Once again, inhale and we take some energy in. 
and exhale and we allow our body to get relaxed very nice we keep inhaling nicely through the nose and now with every exhalation we are going to let go of anything that we no longer need inhale through the nose and exhale and let go of those worries or fears or anxiety inhale once again and exhale and let go of anything that you don't need anymore inhale once again last time and exhale remove everything that is toxic or unnecessary in your life right now very nice let's keep breathing deeply through the nose and now we are going to start thinking about the sky how this darkness is going to surround us Maybe you can also meditate upon the concept of the, the moon and the lunar cycle. Think about the sky, the stars, nature. And feel connected to these nature and elements that are around you. And little by little we are going to start visualizing that goal that we wrote down before I would like you to imagine how you would be achieving that goal so really picture yourself achieving that intention how does it feel where are you with whom Really take some time here to be as detailed as possible and visualize that achievement. So right now we have the chance to let our body and mind heal. We can help them to grow and to keep moving forward. The new moon represents an ending, but it also represents a new start. So we can let go of anything that we no longer need. And we can also start a new relationship with ourselves and with other people. So this is the perfect timing as well to maybe refresh some commitments, to review some goals or intentions that you had already set. It's a wonderful chance as well to maybe bring some new energy, some new ideas, some more oxygen into already existing projects or situations at work or in your personal life so it's a really good chance to refresh and somehow start again with a different perspective a more positive and hopeful perspective it's also a good time to start maybe a new habit if you've been thinking about it the new moon gives you a new chance it's the beginning of a new cycle and you can also take that into your daily life and maybe start a new healthy habit. And of course this new moon is the perfect opportunity for you to really get rid of any obstacles that you thought that were somehow blocking your way forward. Really just remove those obstacles. We are letting go of the toxic and bad stuff and we are welcoming a new energy into this new cycle. 
in this darkness and in this silence of the night we can really dive deeply into who we are into ourselves and our priorities clarify those priorities understand what we need and what we don't need anymore and be honest with ourselves I would like you to understand and to remind yourself that nature and the moon works in cycles and so do our bodies and our minds so it is perfectly normal if you've been somehow feeling the downs of maybe your work or your personal relationships it is totally normal if you've been feeling maybe a lack of energy lately I would like you to understand that this is okay this is part of nature there's nothing wrong about it and it's good that we just acknowledge and accept it as part of the process so really let's not fear these endings or these periods of time where we are feeling somehow not going forward or a little bit stuck or a little bit sadder this is all normal and we must understand and accept those moments in order for us to really experience the opposite right the the growth and the new beginnings so a couple of tips here just be patient with the process be patient with life cycles and you have a wonderful chance nature is giving you a wonderful chance to really review those priorities clarify those needs and start fresh with every new moon because when we really take the time to go through this stuff is when we really create opportunities for growth and when we push ourselves to keep moving forward and unblock anything that may be on our way so that's why I would like you to go back often to that goal and those three steps that you wrote down on your piece of paper and really try to use that as a way to move forward slowly we are going to try to focus once again in this movement that our body is doing while we inhale and exhale feel your belly and chest raising and falling with every inhalation and exhalation and whenever you're ready slowly open up your eyes once again let them adjust to the new light I hope this guided session was hopefully very useful for you. I hope that now you see this new cycle with maybe a different perspective and maybe you want to start doing this more regularly. I would like to thank you for sharing this time with me and I see you next week here in all my channels for more guided meditations and breathing techniques. Thank you. Namaste.